Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm not really sure if you guys are able to tell right away, but quality has been upped tremendously. Uh, I've been using an iPhone XR right here for, I mean, literally the entire time with my channel, um, at least with the STI. And, um, you know, just at the pure convenience factor of it for me, uh, that is the re main reason why I use it. You know, I carry my phone around me pretty much at all times, unfortunately. Uh, and being able to capture, you know, different clips, being able to edit and everything just on the fly um, was just convenient for me. Being a dad with three kids and everything and just constantly busy, um, like I said, it was just a pure convenience thing. But since we've been doing this fairly often and we're getting a little bit more detailed and having a little bit more fun with it, I figured it's time to upgrade the quality and get something a little bit more decent and um, up the quality a little bit and give you guys uh, a little bit better content and a little bit better quality in my videos. So I picked up a Sony ZV-1, a lot of great reviews. It's really nice. I'm kind of just getting used to it. So bear with me while I'm getting all the settings right and everything. But out of the box, it's a pretty cool little camera. I got a few things coming for it, a couple different mods if you want to call them that. Uh, I got a nice uh, two-way mic coming for it. I got a cage for it, as well as a uh, wide angle lens for it that you put on it. Um, that's gonna give us a little bit better uh, wider shots and everything so it's gonna be pretty cool I'm excited for it But what we're going to be doing in this video is talking about all of my upgrades in terms of lighting I've done so many lighting mods on this car It's pretty crazy that I decided to make it a separate video I get a ton of questions on everything So I figured it's worthy of a whole entire video because I have so much done to it and I want to go in a little bit more detail about everything um, and plus it'll help anybody out that is curious about what modifications I have done to the car in regards to lighting. Now, if you guys are unaware, I am a huge lighting nut. So any car that I have gotten in the past, STI included, I have always upgraded all of my lighting. Uh, and unfortunately with the STI from the factory, the lighting is just not good. Plain and simple, even the factory LED you know, headlights are just not good. There's a ton of improvements that can be had um, and me being, like I said, a, a lighting nut and just always looking for the best lighting possible, I knew it was something that I had to upgrade and I had to modify. Um, so we're gonna start off talking about my custom retrofitted headlights by Lightworks. These are a 2020 set of headlights. Uh, obviously my car is a 2017 if you guys are not aware, um, but I ended up purchasing a very, very clean used set off a friend uh, of 2020 STI headlights. They did some minor updates. Actually, they did a lot of updates uh, in the 2018 plus headlights. Um, they have the steering responsive headlights. It's a little bit different design. The projectors are actually by LED as opposed to having the high beam uh, in the center bowl right here. The blinkers are up here now, so everything is integrated because um, in the 2015 to 17, the blinker used to be down here. Um, so it's just a nicer unit, a much more higher quality looking. Um, I just happen to like the style way better. So I decided to pick up a 2020 set. In 2020, it's kind of hard to see, but they updated, see that little tiny uh, shield right there? They updated with that. And the main reason is because the 2018, uh, I don't know if they upgraded in 2019, but uh, at least the 2018, they didn't have that shield there. Uh, and, the, and what was happening was um, the projector was getting so hot that it was actually melting the plastic there. So they put a little metal shield, a little metal bar, uh, and it resolved that issue. So like I said, 2020, these were stock headlights when I brought them into Lightworks, and then we did quite a few upgrades to them. Now, before I turn them on and go over all that was done in terms of the actual lighting, I just wanted to kind of show you what they look like with them off. They're pretty dirty right now, so bear with me. I need to wash the car this weekend. But all of the chrome, the housing inside was all painted a satin black, really, really nice. I also had the um, orange reflector on the side painted satin black as well. Also on the inner bowls, you can't even see, geez, they're so dirty, but uh, the inner bowls were painted the same satin black, so there's no chrome whatsoever. Uh, but a really cool little touch that I decided to do, uh, kind of last minute actually, I was just gonna paint everything black, but the actual projector shroud, kind of hard to see, but it is a gunmetal metallic. It's actually called Monsoon Metallic Gray. It's an Audi color, an actual color that they use on their cars. Um, so it's a nice little touch. It breaks up the black, gives some contrast to the actual headlight, uh, and I'm really, really happy with that. And I figured it would go well with my wheels and everything and just kind of the little accents that I have around the car with the carbon. And I just felt like it was a nice little touch that I decided to do. Um, some people actually paint match these to their color of the car, but I felt like lapis would have been a little too silly, a little too much, stand in your face a little too much. So I decided to go a little bit more subtle and go with the 
metallic gray. So a cool little modification that I first did to these headlights is actually located on my phone, which is pretty strange sounding. But as you can see, this is the Morimoto uh, app that is on your phone, and it actually controls the demon eyes in the headlights. So this is something that I don't necessarily run at all or ever, um, but it is something really cool that looks good for pictures. And, you know, it's just one of those cool little things. It wasn't much to add on to it, uh, so I decided to just throw them in. And you can literally change to any color you want. Um, so you can go around the little uh, circle right here, change the color. You can have different modes. You can have themes. So, you know, you can have them change to all different pinks and purples. And um, over here is a little rainbow. So if you're going to a car show and that's your thing and you want your car to stand out a little bit more, you can do stuff like that. So these three right here are the ones I usually use. So um, here is a blue that sometimes I turn on. I mainly uh, use yellow, which kind of looks orangey on film here, but uh, it looks really good with the fog lights. It's a nice deep yellow, but I also keep a red as well, which is actually um, the thumbnail. You'll see the red in the headlights in the thumbnail, which looks really cool against the blue. So a cool little touch. Obviously this adds no performance whatsoever. It's purely for cosmetic. It just looks really cool. And like I said, it wasn't much more um, when I got these done. So I decided to get it and uh, play around with it. So a pretty cool little upgrade, but let's get on to the uh, actual performance of these headlights. All right, so this is what my daytime running lights are like. The C light and the strip light right here on the bar that goes across the bowl in the center is by Dio Dynamics. Absolutely love these, super bright, looks really good. It looks this bright in the daytime. It doesn't get washed out or anything in the sun. It, it's such a good looking sea light. And the really cool thing about these as well is these serve as my turn signal. So since I have the upgraded bumper and I no longer have the turn signal down there, uh, I converted the sea light as well as the strip light as my turn signal. So it cleans everything up, it gets rid of a light down here. Uh, and plus, I just think it looks way cooler. All right, so that is what the blinker looks like. As you can see, really, really, actually it's super bright. I can't even look at it, it's blinding me. <laughs> uh, but the C lights and the strip lights turn over to an amber, and then as soon as you turn them off, they just turn right back to the white that you were seeing before. As you can see over here, it just flips right back. Um, so it's a really, really nice and super bright turn signal. And like I said, it gets rid of the light down here. So it's a really nice option for any 2015 to 17 guys that convert over to the newer style bumper that just want uh, the turn signal up here and they don't want anything down there anymore. So definitely suggest picking these up. Really, really nice upgrade. All right, so now we got the projectors on. These are the Morimoto MLED 2.0 projectors. Now, not many, if I don't know if anybody has actually ever done this, uh, most people just leave the stock LED projectors in there, but me being a lighting nut and being crazy, uh, I wanted to get some better projectors in there. Unfortunately, there's really not many options for us to use um, to get some nice projectors in there. So the Murimoto MLED 2.0s are literally perfect. They look OEM uh, and the performance on these things are absolutely insane. I'll throw some cutoff pictures up on the screen for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. But the beam pattern is super wide. The cutoff and color is beautiful. It's super sharp. Absolutely love these things. Uh, highly recommend them. And honestly, if I was able to only do one modification to these headlights, I would be doing just these projectors alone. Everything else, you know, it's just purely for cosmetic. But the projectors, you know, the performance of these things are absolutely insane. So highly recommend them and it really makes doing all of this completely worth it. All right, so now that we got the headlights covered, uh, let's start moving down. Um, I got a couple more things down on the front bumper of upgraded lighting that I've done. And what you guys are looking at down here is the Subi Speed S4 JDM style fog light bezel. This is the daytime running light version. It is not the turn signal version. I don't like the turn signals there. Um, I didn't want anything sequential up here because that is the only option. If they did just have the normal blinking one um, that would match you know, how these work, I may be interested in it. But honestly, um, I just like the DRL version. I think it looks really clean just with the little strip there. Um, and it looks really good because this is my daytime running light setup. This is what the car looks like on, you know, without the headlights at all times. Um, so it's a really, really nice look. Now, in person, it does flow a little bit more. You can actually see the LEDs here on camera but it looks nice and clean uh, in person. It doesn't have that dotted effect in person. The finish in a gloss black metallic, so it's a really, really nice finish. And I also got the fog light cutouts as well, since I'm running some really nice fog lights. So the fog lights that we are running are the Dio Dynamic 
SS3 Sport fog lights. Um, there's a couple different versions of these. There's the Pros, uh, and then there's also different beam patterns as well. But naturally, the Sports and the SS3s are more than enough for a fog light for the STI. It is absolutely amazing. The performance on these things are insane. You can also get these in white as well, but me being a JDM fanboy, yellow is always my favorite fog light color. I literally have the same color set up on my truck as well, um, so I'll always go for yellow. But these things are pretty insane and a huge upgrade over stock. Stock is just a normal chrome bowl fog light. Um, with a, I believe an H11 halogen bulb, so they literally do nothing. Um, it's purely for looks in my eyes. But upgrading to these is a huge upgrade and it actually puts some usable light on the road. All right, so now that we have finished up with the front end and everything that I've done here, let's kind of move over to the side. Uh, these are the IJDM toy sequential uh, turn signal mirrors. They also act as a DRL. There's a couple different versions of these in terms of coloring. Uh, I went with the smoked version. I think it blends in a little bit better. Uh, there is a clear lens version with black backing, but the uh, strips right here are actually white, which I'm not a big fan of. I think it stands out a little too much. Like I said, it's a DRL function as well. So anytime the car is on, they light up white. And then when I turn the turn signals on, they uh, you know light up amber. They are actually sequential. Um, so let me go ahead and demonstrate and show you what they look like. All right, so as you guys were just able to tell, um, the DRL function, they lit up just white like that. And then when I turn this turn signals on, the amber sequential comes out and then it blinks right back to this. So really nice little feature. Stock is just one actual LED uh, in the front of the turn signal here. And then it just diffuses through the entire thing. So you can hardly see it. It's very unnoticeable. Uh, and I feel like this is a really cool feature of the STI. So having these is a really, really nice upgrade. The only thing about these is they bump out a little bit further than stock. The stock ones are a little bit slimmer, uh, but honestly with the smoked version, you can't even really tell. It blends in really nicely um, and also has a little LED light on the side there. And then uh, I have the little window here as well that you can see when the turn signal is on, but very nice upgrade that I definitely suggest. They're only about 80 or $90 or so, so nothing crazy. They plug right in as a plug and play setup. Um, the DRL function, you need to tap into a wire, I actually tapped into the uh, window switch wire so they turn on when the car is turned on. But yeah, really nice little feature uh, that I absolutely love. All right, so on the interior of the car, I got some upgraded LED bulbs in the uh, map light as well as the dome light. They are by OLM. I got them from Subi Speed like four years ago and they still been kicking just fine. They look really good. It updates the interior. Makes it look much more cleaner and comparing the stock bulbs, which are very yellow and washed out looking. I'm not a big fan of them. So definitely should upgrade. Very, very inexpensive. Um, you can pretty much get any brand, but these ones by OLM have been great. Oh yeah, I forgot that I did these, but I also did the visor little mirror lights here as well. So it's a full upgrade with all LED lighting on the interior. Um, I honestly forgot. I was looking around to see if there's any other lights and I guess I ended up doing those as well. Those are by OLM as well. So. You can kind of see the bulb in there, sort of, if I get in close enough. Um, but very, very nice, it fills out very well. Uh, it looks really good. Here is the same upgrade in the trunk as well. It's just a, uh, I believe a 194 OLM bulb um, and it really lights up the trunk area very well. Hardly ever use a trunk if at all, but still. But knowing it's upgraded is uh, something that I just have to do. License plate lights. I actually did a whole entire video on this. They're full replacements, it's not just a bulb. So it's the full housing that plugs right into the factory uh, little harness, little plugs, uh, and they just clip right in. It's really nice, uh, very, very bright, but it's not too in your face where it's you know projecting uh, a ton of light on the ground or on the plate. Um, it looks really, really good. I forget where I picked these up, but uh, if you guys wanna watch that video, I'll link it in the top right corner for you guys. They're really nice, they're pretty inexpensive. They're not too bad, I think there was like $30 or so. Um, so definitely something I suggest picking up since it's a full housing replacement. Now you guys know I've been through quite a different few sets of these, uh, but ultimately I landed on these as my favorite. These are the Subi Speed V2 style, which unfortunately are discontinued. They still sell the JDM style, 
uh, which is a little bit different. The running height actually looks like an E, so it comes around like this, and then the red comes onto that little part right there. Not a big fan of it. I just like the C look much better. It flows with the car, um, so, you know, with the C lights up front and everything. And I think it looks a little bit cleaner. So the reverse light is actually in this section right here, uh, which is pretty nice. I wish it was the full bar. Um, this little part right here uh, does nothing. As you can see, there's no LEDs in it. Um, and I do wish they made these, the V2 style, uh, with a full length bar instead of updating to the JDM style. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Um, and you know, that whole bar should be used. But either way, um, it's a really, really nice looking reverse light. Uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit of what that looks like. Also the turn signals is the same uh, function right here. They're sequential. You can actually turn the sequential on or off uh, with unplugging a wire or plugging it in. Um, but I have them on sequential since everything on the car is sequential except for the C lights up front. Uh, but otherwise, you can turn them on or off and I think it looks really clean. It comes from the top and it kind of goes down, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. Brake light is still the C light. So it's very clean. There's not a thousand different things that light up. In the first set of Subi Speed taillights that I did try, um, I had the Evos and then I ended up going with the normal basic C light. I forget what they're called. Uh, the V1s, I guess. Um, but they had the turn signal down here and a lot of people have issues with them burning out. Fortunately, I never had any issues. But ultimately, these are my favorite ones. Really simple, really clean, looks OEM, um, and actually is a little bit different shape than stock. So as you can see, it bumps out here as opposed to following this line straight through. And I think it makes the rear end look a little bit wider, a little bit better in my eyes. Um, and I just really, really end up liking these a lot. I didn't think I would, um, but really nice option. So let me go ahead and show you the functions of these. So the last lighting upgrade that I have on the car is down here. This is the iJDM Toy third brake light. It's not a reverse light, it's not anything. All it is is literally just a brake light. So anytime that I do brake, it lights up. When the lights are on, it blinks three times. I prefer the blinking at nighttime. It just makes the drivers behind me a little bit more aware uh, that I am braking. And plus it looks kind of cool. And you know, it has that rally heritage, that race look as well. But I never was a fan of the third brake light, um, you know, running at all times with the lights. Uh, so I'll only have it wired up so it functions when I brake. All right guys, so that wraps up all of the lighting modifications that I have done to my STI. Uh, like I said, I'm a huge lighting nut, a huge lighting nerd. So anything that has to do with upgrading to much better quality LEDs or whatever it may be, I'm all about it. I'm always looking for something better and the best. And I'm so happy with everything that I have done on this car. Um, you know, I spared no expense, especially with the headlights. I always wanted a really, really clean set of retrofitted headlights. Um, you know, to this extent, I've done retrofits in the past. Uh, but I've never went above and beyond and I'm so happy with how those turned out. Everything else has been performing flawlessly. I've had zero issues with anything, even the Subi Speed taillights, no condensation issues, no burnouts or anything like that. And all the lighting, all the little touches that I did, it really, really makes a big statement. Uh, even though they may be small details, like the little interior lights and everything, even the, uh, the mirrors, the little lights in there as well, it's all part of the big picture and honestly, it makes it that much better. So. But if you guys have any questions at all about any lighting that I did on this car, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I've done videos on literally everything in terms of lighting on this car, so go back and check those. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.